When looking at the AutoCAD user interface, the largest area is the drawing window. Above the drawing window, we have the ribbon, and the ribbon has a series of panels on it for displaying tools. In the upper left corner, we have the application menu, which gives us a menu for commonly used file management tools. Next to that, we have the quick access tools. These are my most commonly used tools that I want to be able to access easily, such as open and save. Next to that we have the, the drop-down box controlling the workspace. This controls how my user interface looks, depending on the type of work that I'm going to be doing. Also located on the title bar is the Info Center, where I have quick access for searching for help items while I'm drawing. Below the panel, we have the In Canvas Viewport Control. This allows me to control the views of my drawing that I'll see in the drawing window. At the bottom of my drawing window, I have tabs for my model space and for my layouts. Uh, which I will use for printing. Below the drawing window is the command line window. The command line window is the place where I view the options as I'm using commands and, and drawing in AutoCAD. Below the command line is the status bar. The status bar has groups of tools that I use for quick access. Things like drawing aids, working with model and paper space for doing layouts, as well as scaling and annotation of my drawings. Along the right-hand side of the drawing area, we have some tools that are used for viewing. These tools are transparent until we roll over them with the mouse, and then they become visible. We have the view cube, which we can use to change the views of our drawing, and we have the navigation bar, which contains tools for viewing our drawing and navigating our way through large drawings. We will be looking at each of these areas of our user interface in more detail in upcoming videos.